Now let us look at the question number three and this question is again very easy question and it is from Java programming and Java programming comes under the oops that is object oriented programming. Okay. So generally in the syllabus the Java programming is not at all mentioned but uh, you can see the some questions in the previous uh, examinations of UG student because Java comes under the oops uh, programming languages. Now I've written the same question here on the right hand side for easy understanding so that every word which is written here should be clear to you because in the slide it may happen that uh, the, some words may not be clear. Now this is the function which is class simple. Now in this simple class when the program execution will start it will start from the main function from here. Okay. Now in the main function we have created an object which is simple object of new simple that is the object of the same class type. Okay, and now we are calling object dot start. So for this object, we are calling this start function. Okay, in the main, we are calling the start function on the same object. Okay, now the start function, what is happening is we have a long p, we have an array p. Now this array itself, they are um, in Java, they are implemented in the form of classes itself. So we have the values three, four, and five in this array p. Okay, now we are calling q. And in this method q we are passing this array p okay so uh, here that means long q this is another uh, you can see it is another array and this is not initialized this is not instantiated it, it will be instantiated because of this what do i mean to say is when you just write long q that long array q that means q is an array which can take an, a reference uh, q, q can take a reference to an array now we are passing this p array to this method and whatever we are going to return from here that will be passed into the queue okay now in p you can see we created we are taking this array p array's input so this r is also uh, uh, pointing to the same location okay or you can say referencing to the same object now we have r of 1 is equal to 7 that is on the first index location index locations are 0 1 and 2 on the first index location we are storing the number which is 7 correct now we are returning r that means we are returning the reference to this same array that means that reference is also stored in Q because of this line because of this line the same reference is stored in Q so P and Q both are pointing to the same location so when I'm pointing to P of 0 that is P of 0 is 3 that is this is 3 plus P of 1 on the first index location we have 7 plus on the second index location we have 5 so 3 plus 7 plus 5 that I can say so this 3 plus 7 plus 5 is going to give us the value which is 15 and we have a ratio sign here so the first number that it will be printed is 15. Now the second statement we are printing uh, q of 0, q of 1 and q of 2. So again we are printing exactly the same value. So this two statements are going to print 15 is to 15. Okay. Which if you see the same uh, options we the output or the output that will be printed from these two statements will be 15 is to 15. This is to sign or this ratio sign is because of this one. And this sums p of 0 is 3 p of 1 is 7 and p of 2 is 5 so it is 3 plus 7 plus 5 which is 15 again here 3 plus 7 plus uh, 5 which is again 15 so answer to this question here will be 15 is to 15 so option number 1 is wrong option number 2 is also wrong option number 3 is also wrong the correct answer is option number 4 which is 15 is to 15 okay I hope that you understood the question now let us look at the question number 4